Smith, Anthony Black, Brett Brazil. So, everybody good back there? Good? <coughs> Curtis, good start. Hey guys, Curtis with Hog Sports. Maybe for Nick and Anthony, what has been the biggest uh, transition or, or change for you guys going from obviously high school to college? And where have you seen the most growth in your games individually since you arrived? Uh, I say um, it's been uh, uh, kind of a good transition from high school to college. Um, simple fact that you know Coach Must knows what he's doing, and Coach Staff knows what he's doing. You know, obviously has more um, uh, knowledge of, you know, not saying more knowledge, but he knows what he's doing when it gets to, you know, comes to the next level. So, you know, just trying to get better each and every day, just trying to, you know, um, lead the team and try to, you know, uh, get some wins down the line, you know, uh, especially important for, you know, the summer practice leading into, you know, um, real practice that's starting up, uh, you know, uh, this week. So, uh, I'd say probably the biggest transition, uh, the biggest difference in just, uh, the practices and uh, when we compete, I say it's just the physicality. But uh, you know, once you're here for a couple of weeks, you get used to that. So I think uh, all the freshmen are we're all used to it now. So we're playing more physical. Uh, we're taking bumps, doing stuff like that a lot better. So the physical aspect is probably the biggest adjustment uh, early on that we had to make. And for you, obviously, you have a year of SEC play under your belt already, but uh, just curious what the, the big differences for you have been and, and how do you feel like you're settling in so far? Uh, I feel like um, coming in, I definitely feel like I have more uh, confidence both defensively and offensively. Um, coaching staff has gonna, done a good job of, you know, uh, putting me in the right places and um, pushing me just right, so. First two are for, are for, are for Nick and AB. Guys, as facilitators, you're about two months in. Talk a little bit about getting to know your teammates, acclimating and being set up guys, because y'all had some good work out there today. Uh, well, for me and AB's position is, uh, well, one of my positions is to, you know, be a combo guard. You know, I got recruited to, to get, be a combo guard here. And Coach Must believes that I can do uh, pretty much everything on the floor, uh, get my teammates involved, you know, also score the basketball. Um, you know, I have ability to do both. But um, <clears throat> on that side, on that side of, you know, playing, of just trying to facilitate, you know, trying to get my teams involved. I know I got a lot of guys that can also put the ball in the basket. So it's not all about me. So sometimes, you know, I might have an open, an open shot, but. You know, I might have to swing one more to get an uh, even better shot. So, you know, just knowing that coming in, you know, it's a good thing to have because, you know, in high school, you know, sometimes you got to take more of the load. But, you know, in college, you know, um, going to the next level, you really got to do that. So, you know, just take a take a toll off me and you know, uh, just make the, make the game easier. Uh, I say being a facilitator, uh, playing with the ball in your hands, it only takes you a couple practices to see, like, what players do what and how you can set up the players to be successful. So with this team, we got a lot of athleticism, a lot of length. Uh, we got a lot of shooters. So for, for playmakers and facilitators, uh, we got a lot of a lot of options we can hit. So it, it kind of makes our job easier. John, I want to ask you about your versatility in this offense or the opportunities you've seen so far in two months, how it's enhancing your game. Uh, I feel like, you know, with the uh, kind of team we got. Um, we like to get out in space and um, run in the open floor. And you know, me being uh, uh, you know long and whatever and versatile, that's what I like to do is get out in the open floor and run. So uh, just being with other guys that you know know how to play and like to play at a fast pace really helps. Yeah, I guess just for for each of you guys, just I guess just some some insights on I guess one team shooting and then two team speed, like getting out in transition and just ability to run the floor top to bottom on the roster. Uh, like I said, everyone on the team, we have great length at the guard spot, you know, AB, 6'8", Nick, Nick's probably like 6'5", so, you know, you don't see those type of guards in the SEC. Um, I feel like uh, as this, the year goes, um, we definitely need to shoot the ball better now, so I think around when um, November comes, we'll be, we'll be ready to go. Uh, yeah, I kind of agree with that. Uh, we got a lot of good shooters, a lot of long, fast, athletic players. So uh, once we learn to run and get to our spots, I think it's going to open it up for whoever has the ball. And then uh, from there, it's just making the right play and then hitting shots. So I think I think we'll be able to do that a lot this year. Oh well, for me, you know, just uh, one thing I try to preach, you know, is sometimes 
uh, Mush tries to preach all the time with us, you know, just getting in the gym and getting the, uh, extra shots. You know, after practice, we have 10 minutes shooting. You know, we don't have to do that. We can just go home, um, you know. But, you know, we know that shooting is going to be a big part of what we're trying to do, you know, especially uh, our offense. As you can see, we play open and free. So, you know, uh, knowing that we can um, – that we have to we have to be able to shoot the ball is going to be big for you know um, when it comes down to you know March. So, Coach Muss was in here earlier talking about a lot of basketball side of things, but he was talking about the upcoming trip that you guys have outside of just playing the four games. What are you guys looking forward to going overseas? Oh uh, well, one thing I'm looking forward to is just to play. Um, I've been practicing all this time. You know, I'm you know um, I just want to play. You know, um, I'm pretty sure these these two guys just want to play, and everybody on the team want to play. You know, we're tired of beating everybody up. We're tired of, you know, just going at it at practice. We want, to, we want to play against new bodies. But we also got to understand that we're going down there for a business trip. And we're going to have fun, you know. It's, we ain't, some people ain't never been to Italy before. But at the same time, you know, those four games we're going to play, we're going to play hard. And Coach Musk told us that, you know, it's going to be real games that we're going to play. So, uh, One thing I'm looking forward to is just, you know, being able to see what um, this team can bring without, you know, with outside of practice. You know, we've been playing each other. Sometimes I think our defense is so good that we make each other, the offense look sloppy. So I think that we're going to surprise ourselves in Spain um, with our length and athleticism and how good that we actually are. What differences, and I don't know if you were just there, you're Trevin, but what differences have you already seen in practices between year one of Mizzou and then now kind of a summer here at Arkansas? Uh, we get less water breaks. I would say that's that's probably the main thing. Uh, don't get that. But we get water. We get well hydrated. But um, I would say uh, <laughs> it's a a little more. Uh, I won't say it's more intense, but you know, I feel like I, uh, there's a lot more engagement um, within the practice. You know, we have what eight, nine GAs. So you know, them bringing energy. We got managers bringing energy. All the coaches bringing energy. Players bring it every day, so it's just a it's a it's a different vibe over here. Uh, have any of you guys uh, been to Europe before? No, I haven't been. To I Europe. guess maybe just each of you. Maybe <coughs> you could start and go across. Just I mean, how how much are you looking forward to going to a different country? Maybe you know, obviously you're going there to play ball, but maybe getting to experience a different culture, see some some you know historical things. Well, I'm looking forward to it. The one thing I'm not looking forward to is the plane ride. Uh, that's going to be a kind of a struggle. But once we get there, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be fun, you know, especially connecting with the guys. And, you know, we already have a connection. You know, everybody on the team uh, like each other. You know, we all hang out. You know, we sometimes we might go to Vo House. Sometimes we, they might come to me and AB House. Sometimes we might go to K House. You know, we all just, you know, just, just one big family really already in, in the summertime. So, you know, that's just going to lead to, you know, us in the SEC play for sure. I'll probably say, uh, I mean, it's going to be good to, to get down there with the team. And uh, we haven't really, like, it's very rare that a whole team hangs out all together at once. So uh, we're going to be together for all those hours on the plane, all those hours at the hotel. So I think uh, that trip is just going to be good for us, just as a full team, to just be together and uh, kind of learn, learn some stuff about each other, uh, like get closer with each other, stuff like that. They pretty much hit it on the head. And then also, Jared, you obviously been through college practices. But Eric was saying that you know, these these practices now you're able to go you know full bore as opposed to I guess four hours a week or whatever it is. Um, and he said it's a lot more intense. And maybe some of the freshmen have yeah. struggled with it a little bit. Just how how have these mo more recent practices been compared to what you guys did earlier in the summer? Oh, well, for me, it's just I mean it's just longer. Um, it it has really I mean it really phased me for real. Um, you know, uh, just knowing coming in, he knew I knew I was gonna have to take, I had to take a big role. So, you know, I just try to come in each and every day, just put in the work. You know, just trust what Coach Must telling us. No, I say the only thing really different, like he said, is the uh, the length of the practice. Uh, same intensity, same type of stuff. Uh, we try to come in and work as hard as we did, even when it wasn't the real practice. We were still putting in work, so it's really, it's really a lot of the same stuff, just longer. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of the same stuff. Uh, I would say that um, I feel like everybody on the team has a has really adjusted uh, well to going us going full practices. Uh, obviously, our bodies are a little tired because you know our bodies aren't used to that, but. 
in practice, everybody's engaged for the whole time. So I think the only thing that changed was just the time, but we, we, we still on, we're still on point. Did you guys notice the air conditioning being off over there? Oh, the air conditioning's off? Though. I didn't know that. It explains, but. Y'all knew that? No, I didn't know. I, know I thought he was talking about conditioning. Get you used to European gyms. It's not exactly the, uh, you know. Yeah. Well, we, we got Coach Rich. We'll be ready. <laughs> yeah, Coach Rich. Yeah, 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 we'll be ready. Ball, do you notice any difference? Oh, oh yeah. It's like this big. It's way it's smaller. smaller. Way smaller. It's a little ball. Like Is that good or bad? It's easier for uh, the whole That's horrible. Hey. What do you I mean, by now. I mean, we used to it by now. We got it, but I mean. We grabbed the regular ball. I feel like a watermelon. Yeah. I swear. Big. Do you like the 24 second shot clock and the? Ooh. I mean, that's the, league. So yeah, that's obviously the first couple yeah. days. Yeah. I mean, so is that good? Because obviously that's where you guys all want to be. NBA. Yeah. That's league. Okay. Nick, I know you and Gio Davis are from the same area and have played against each other. Just what was your relationship like before you got here, and then what has it been like kind of being teammates with him now? Uh, Devo is my brother. Uh, we've been connected ever since we was five, six years old. Um, a lot of people don't really see that, but me and Devo is extremely close. You know, I talk to Devo each and every day. You know, some stuff. I probably don't want to say, you know, to other people, but I can go talk to him about it. You know, he also been here. That was that was one of the reasons why I came here because I knew that, you know, I knew I had a the brother to lean on, especially when stuff get bad. And you know, um, I talked to you know Devo is a you know like I said a brother brother of mine. You know, we grew up playing against each other. Um, you know, ever since we was young, he been beating me up, so he ain't, he can't really beat me up no more. So you know, but you know, it's really good just competing against him every day because I know exactly what I'm what he gonna do, and he know exactly what I'm gonna do. So, the fuck? Next. Huh. Who, me? As, as far as practice, Trayvon, I was curious, Eric's big and obviously an NBA guy. Have you noticed more of an NBA influence? In the, I know it hadn't been many practices yet, but I was just wondering, do you notice the, the NBA influence? Oh, for sure. Uh, I was watching the Summer League this year, and uh, I was watching the Warriors, and just the stuff they kept doing, it just the stuff we're doing in practice, it just kept coming up. You know, the ball on the ball screens, they were calling weak inside. We, we do weak inside. So, uh, Coach Mustard does a great job of, you know, um, incorporating NBA type drills into our practices. And for each of you, and Nick, of course, you, are, you talked about Devo, but Eric was in there talking about how he, Devo was kind of running a drill. And he was asking you guys, why is he doing this? And I'm not sure what answers you gave. He said, but he said, hey, it's because he's been on, you know, two Elite Eight teams. You know, he's been, been there, done that. I mean, what kind of, how does Devo help out in practice? Is he almost kind of like a player coach or what? What's that aspect like? Um, well, Devo's been here for three years, so I'm pretty sure that he knows everything that's going on. I know that, I know that he knows that, you know, coach, he won't like coach. He need what coach needs, so you know he gonna do what coach needs, and he know everything that he coach wants. So you know um, he gonna he gonna try to lead us. You know he's been leading us ever since we got here, and you know it's been helping us ever since. Cause you know if we didn't have Devo, I can honestly say some of us would be lost. You know t uh, still to this day. So you know it's it's a good thing to have Devo here. You guys want to take that too? No, I'm probably just echoing what he said. Like Devo, he's a great leader. Uh, I don't know how his leadership role has been the last couple of years, but this year he's really he's really being a good leader, kind of uh, making sure we're we're tight, um, just telling us the right things to do, just preaching hard work and stuff like that, and, uh, just kind of telling us like how hard it is to get to that lead eight final four. So yeah, just having a dude who's been there is good. Uh, I would say with Devo, um, he does a great job of leadership on the court, but also off the court. Um, you know, he keeps us, you know, keeps everybody in line. He's kind of, he's, he's definitely our leader on the team. Uh, he's not scared to tell you what it is. He's not scared to get in your face. And, you know, if he has to, if, if, whatever you have to do, he's going to help you out. Playing <laughs> 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 USA basketball, I guess I can turn around. You guys played eight games, I think, maybe? Yeah, something Beat like everybody that. by 50 or 40 or whatever. Yeah. How did that experience maybe help you out uh, coming into this year? Um, I mean, it was just, First of all, it was a blessing to get invited and to make the team. But uh, getting to play in Mexico was fun, playing with a different group of people. Uh, some of the great younger than me, some of my grade. It was just fun. And uh, yeah, it's just stuff like that you remember for the rest of your life, because not a lot of people get to do it. So yeah, it was pretty cool. All right, this is a little more personal. Who does the talking out there? Who, who does the most talking? Who maybe backs it up? Me? Talking. I, I'll say the twins. Oh, yeah. Twins, twins. talk yeah, a lot. Yeah, twins. 
they got a lot of energy, but it's good energy, so. Yeah, it's good energy. Yeah. Good energy. Well, one thing Eric talked about, or do you have a follow? Well, one thing Eric talked about, uh, I don't know, a month ago or something, all the length on this team. Um, Trayvon, obviously, you, you bring a lot of length. And heck, you're a six, eight point guard. And mm -hmm. well, what do you guys think about the length on the team? Uh, well, we got four guys with a over seven, two, seven, three wingspan. So, I mean, off the rip, that's crazy. I mean, I've never seen a team with that, that was an NBA team that had that kind of length. Uh, but also at our guard position, you know, our length at that is just crazy. Um, so I just think that basically our length and athleticism and take it, it, that'll take us really far this year. Yeah, because you guys are big. Heck, yeah. Anthony, you'd probably been playing center a couple of years ago. <laughs> I'm serious, you know. Yeah, I mean, I think just having the team with this type of length and athleticism, especially because we can run a lot of different lineups. Like we can go big, we can go smaller, which is still kind of a big lineup for us. But uh, we can just. We have a lot of mismatches. Our length and athleticism size creates a lot of mismatches. So just having a team with a lot of dudes like that, uh, it's usually a recipe for success. So we'll see if we can do it. Yeah, we'll see. Nick, Nick, good. I mean, yeah, I mean, we have our point guards is 6'5", 6'7", and 6'4". So, you know, that just speaks for itself. And, you know, everybody else, you know, TB is like 6'10", with like a 7'4", wingspan. That's going to play the four. So that's. Oh, he can ask for it for real. Jay Walsh got like TV, and Ricky and you know Jordan. Have you guys ever been around that many guys on a team? Maybe not an All Star team, but just a a team that you're a part of that have that kind of athleticism and above the rim. No, not nah, Ricky. Ricky is unbelievable. Ricky's uh, crazy. I, Ricky's oh, crazy. I haven't seen nothing like that before. Really like he can cool. like, I literally seen him like walk like walk under the basket and do it between the legs, literally like under the basket, not even trying. Like, that's how crazy his athletic is. I thought I was athletic until I seen Ricky. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I probably never seen it. I ain't never seen like Never that. been on a team with that type of, with this type of athleticism. Nah. TB too. And he's only like 6'4", 6'5". Yeah. He's an athlete for sure. TB 6'10", though. No matter, though. Ricky's 6'4", <laughs> that can, yeah. Whoever jumped with Ricky this year is probably going to be a problem, for sure. Get baptized. Baptized. Don't jump at Ricky Council. No, don't. <laughs> Hashtag don't jump at Ricky Council. PSA. All right, guys. Appreciate your time. All right, All right. Appreciate it. Yep. <sighs>